Breaking new developments overnight in the High Park fire burning near Fort Collins. New evacuation orders have been put in place as the fire swells to more than eight thousand acres. The fire first spotted early yesterday morning in the Paradise Park area is zero percent contained and it's moving fast. Here's a map to give you a better idea of where the fire is right now. It's just south southwest of the lower North Fork fire burn area. Now take a look at your screen. About 800 additional evacuation notifications were sent out overnight. That on top of the more than 800 notifications sent out yesterday. That makes a total of 1600 separate notifications. Now some of those could have been to multiple people in one household, we're told. And some people under the evacuation order are unaccounted for this morning. Ten buildings have burned so far. No details from officials just yet on what types of buildings those uh, buildings were. Now we're on top of the latest with team coverage right now. Meteorologist Maureen McCann is tracking a shift in winds today and how that will impact the fire. And reporter Molly Hendrickson is live at the fire command post. We'll begin there with you, Molly. What is the latest that you can tell us right now? Well, right now we're near Redstone Canyon, where just moments ago about eight patrol cars took off up the road here to notify people of evacuation orders. You can see one woman leaving right now as, as we speak. Uh, you know, officers here tell me that they've been told the fire is now moving north or south rather and that is the cause for these evacuation orders here we've already seen uh, people who live on mini elk road heading out as you saw there they've also implemented a reverse 911 call many people here leaving with their cars packed leaving with trailers full of animals the larimer county sheriff's office has been working throughout the night of course expanding those evacuation orders it's very bad up where we are the smoke is very very heavy. I did not see fire. We did not go to bed, of course, last night. But it's, it is dangerous. It really is. And as you know, the fire now at 8,000 acres. We're told they had to stop air attacks overnight due to the darkness, but they are expected to resume again this morning. Exactly when that's supposed to happen, Sheriff's Office couldn't tell me. We are expecting an update this morning at 9 a.m. We should know more at that time about if any structures burned overnight, the actual size of the fire this morning, and their plans for attacking that fire, which they, of course, have to do very aggressively today. We'll continue to bring you updates for now. Back to you. Thank you, Molly. And uh, I'm in the 24-7 Weather Center now to continue our team coverage. The big wind change overnight, Maureen. Yeah, that's exactly what we anticipated with that cold front coming in. Yesterday, those winds were very strong in advance of the front. The winds have dropped off compared to yesterday, especially during the peak during the afternoon. But the good news is that the humidity levels have come up a little bit. Okay. But, Don, it's really not all that good news in yeah. the grand scheme of things. We don't have any rain coming in. We don't see any ideal firefighting conditions. So Mother Nature not cooperating. Yeah, definitely not. Out this morning, but we have a close up look at the uh, High Park Fire area and the surrounding reporting sites where we see wind speeds that are currently between 10 or about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Seems to be a good range here. And these winds have a northwesterly component. Cold front came through overnight, and that is what sent our winds around to a different direction. It's also bringing in some slightly higher humidity levels. Look at them right now. Above 30% for the Red Feather Lake site and also at Estes Park. Again, this is still dry air, but it's not in the single digits like what we had yesterday. Now, our future cast has just a hint of moisture on its tail. Let's unwind it through the afternoon. We go to about 2 p.m. Dry conditions. Hazy sunshine will be found throughout the area. There's that hint of moisture. It comes up right over the fire area about 5 to 7 p.m. We don't see a whole lot of moisture in place, but maybe enough to maybe increase the cloud cover and produce a sprinkle, but it's really not all that much. Larimer County, Boulder County, you are under a red flag warning for today. On the eastern plains, it's a wind advisory. We also have some red flag warnings down to the south for the Sawatch Mountains and extending down towards Alamosa, so critical fire danger there. There is some increased cloud cover up to the north, too, with that moisture coming in behind the front, but we also have the hazy skies with the smoke in the air. Here's our camera at the UNC campus in Greeley. There you can see a little bit of a breeze there with the trees shaking, but the uh, overcast conditions and the haze quite evident with that camera view. 50s this morning. That's what we see downtown and at DIA. There's that wind showing that northerly component now shifting to the east-northeast for the Denver area at about 17 miles per hour. 
Elsewhere in the I-25 corridor, waking up to 50, so a much cooler air mass in place. There are those stronger winds on the plains this morning as the cold front sweeps on through. The winds are not as blustery for the I-25 corridor. Quick look at your future cast for today. Watching these winds, they're going to stay west to northwesterly up in the Fort Collins area. Elsewhere, they're going to shift to the east to southeast, just not as windy as yesterday in advance of the cold front. Today, a much cooler day. We hit a record yesterday, tying it at 95 today. We'll settle with 70s for highs today. So that is the one good thing that will help the fire crews that we don't have to deal with that oppressive heat like we had yesterday. Dom, we'll take a look at the seven-day planner and talk about some rain chances coming up.